Today we're going to be looking at health literacy and how health literacy be between a patient and medical provider are understood. The case example that we're going to be looking at today is a patient with a headache who is seeking some advice from a medical provider. So health literacy. Health literacy is the ability for a patient provider communication to be understood. There are different components of health literacy, which we will cover. In this example over here, we have a nurse who explains to a patient the results of an x-ray and indicated that there are some abnormalities in the x-ray. Um, and the patient seems to be frustrated because she doesn't really understand what is being said, doesn't understand the abnormalities and doesn't understand why the nurse is actually pointing to some parts of um, her head where it could be hurting and not others, but not really seeing the cause of the headache. So, different components of health literacy. To make the situation much more fluid and easy for both the medical provider and the patient, there are a couple things that need to be understood. One is culture and context. Medical providers should be able to obtain individual patient cultural norms, meaning that they need to understand where the patient's coming from. Medical providers should also appreciate how the context can play a role in how a patient asks questions. In other words, if you are from a certain part of a country or area, you might understand things differently, or if you're a part of a certain group, you might understand or perceive things differently. And that needs to be understood from both the medical patient perspective, but also from the provider perspective. The provider needs to understand the patient, and the patient needs to understand that going into certain medical providers who don't understand their cultural norms could be an issue. Second is understand. A patient needs to understand how the diagnosis results uh, impact them. A medical um, provider needs to understand how to deliver a diagnosis to the patient, and patients learn in different ways, which is a key thing. And that's just not patients, but I think all of us learn in different ways. Um, some need to hear the results. Others need a visual aid, like a visual something to say, this is where it hurts. And while others are kinesthetic learners, where they need to touch and to understand how this is actually impacting them. Access. Access, a patient should have access to medical tools, x-rays to assist in understanding their medical diagnosis. If the tools that providers use to only uh, help them determine what the diagnosis is, but not really share those tools with the, with the patient, that really limits the patient's understanding of their medical diagnosis. So for example, in this case, it's an x-ray. If the x-ray was shown to the patient, that could have facilitated things in different ways. So let's look at process. Process of a medical provider and a patient communication is key to educate a patient. The crux to health literacy is the process. Understanding that when it comes to patient provider communication, that health literacy is, is sort of the central piece in understanding how people learn, and how people communicate to one another. And that can be in a form of a flyer. Um, it can be for in a form of forms. So if you uh, develop forms that are very complicated for patients to um, understand, or if they have an educational level of second grade or third grade, they're not gonna be able to answer your questions effectively. So it's just not verbal communications, it can be written and also visual communication. If they don't understand how to get to where um, the x-ray department is in the hospital, that could be a form of health illiteracy where they're having some issues. Also reiteration, a patient needs to be able to reiterate what she or she has learned from a medical provider, not just sort of just hearing and nodding your head, but the patient needs to be able to explain why this is occurring and, and does she or he understand what is occurring. So let's go back to our example. So, so we have here the nurse here and the patient. The nurse has actually provided some x-rays and really said to the patient, these are some of the areas that we're concerned with where we see some abnormalities. While you might feel some pain at the beginning of your frontal lobe, 
that doesn't necessarily mean that's where it, the cause of the pain is coming from. So by presenting a visual aid like x-rays is a form of health literacy and it helps the person understand. Thank you.